I'm pure chaos. That I want to be someone. The biggest cockroach inside of my car. Say I love you. I haven't really slept since Thursday last week and it's Wednesday. Good morning everyone, happy Monday and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name's Tash and if you are a returning viewer, please make sure you're subscribed, like, you comment, all those fun things. I am in such a good mood this morning, which is very good because the past few weeks I haven't been. Hence why I haven't been vlogging, I haven't really been doing anything because I've just been trying to keep my head afloat. But we are slaying the day. This morning I got up early. I didn't sleep very well, but I still got up really early. Went to the gym and then I was meant to be going to the beach to film some content. However, my computer's lost my emails with a brief in it. So I've decided not to waste my time by just guessing and I'll just wait and maybe go tomorrow morning. But regardless of the change of plans, I'm still trying to stay positive and I think it's working. And yeah, we've got so much to catch up on. But for now, I'm about to go to Chadston with Maddie. She has to return a shirt that she bought ages ago. So I'm just going to go with her, talk about all the things that we need to do this week for work and then come home and smash that all out. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's get ourselves a caffeinated drink and get in the car to go to Chatty. In the car, it's 9.30 a.m. and I've got my Pepsi Max here. Yeah. If you judge me, you're not for the girls. I don't want to hear from it. What are we doing? Not today, but Saturday. And I just tried on the weirdest looking shoes. They're the best colour ever, but they have like a Medusa space on them. And I was like, just can't pull it off, you know, like I wish I could, but oh, it's okay. That means I get to narrow it down to other things. So I'm thinking like a cute little set, like bra underwear, and then like a ring. That's the black bag, you know, like it. Yeah, I hate that bag. It's black handles. I hate it. So I've just got home from Chadston, it was great fun. And now I need to clean the house and do some work. So what I'm gonna do is clean one room, then sit from work for an hour, clean a room, sit and work for an hour. We had people over for the grand final weekend and then I worked all day yesterday, Jack slept all day yesterday. So neither of us have had a chance to clean up and it's pretty gross. So let's start with the kitchen because that's the one that's grossed me out the most. And FYI, I already probably spent about 20 minutes cleaning the kitchen yesterday. That's how bad it was. So this is nothing compared to yesterday. about it. I've also smashed out my hour of work so I just didn't update you early when I cleaned it. Now it's time to get on to the bathroom which is probably like my most dreaded task because I have so much washing to catch up on and so it's not going to feel clean when I do it because there's still lots of washing in there but it's all part of the process we just have to do the hard thing and get it done. <laughs> Today has been a very productive day and now Jack's cooking at dinner, beef stroganoff, which is one of my favorites, but we're having it with pasta tonight, which is a bit random. Uh. He, <laughs> as soon as I start recording you, but Dinner is served. Thank you, Jack. Oh, nice. Stop burping. I've just gotten out of my shower, about to go to bed, but first I'm gonna do my skincare. And you've all heard me so many times complain about my skin, but it is finally starting to look good again and I'm very excited about that so I thought I would do it with you and share what I've been doing. So I've recently started using a lot more K-Beauty products. I was so lucky to be able to collaborate with From Soul K-Beauty which is like a monthly box of full size and sample products so you can kind of find out what 
is good for you. This isn't sponsored, but I have a lot of products that I'm loving from that box. So the first thing is the Neogen Naturals Real Ferment Micro Essence. So you just pat this into your skin to start. It's like kind of like a toner vibe, but I don't really know what an essence is. My mum bought me the Laneige Waterbank Essence back from Korea when she went earlier this year, but I haven't really seen it in Australia very often. So I'm excited to have another one of these because I really like it. Then I have my Laneige Waterbank Eye Cream. And I just like to use the little bit left over on my fingertips for the top of my eyelids because they also get saggy as you get older. Then I have my trusty The Ordinary Retinol in the 0 0.5 because my skin can't handle anything more than that. And I'm too afraid to try too af and I'm too afraid to try another retinol because I have had bad experiences with retinol burns. So if you guys do have like the next best thing that I need to be aware of, please tell me and I might give it a crack. Then I go in with my Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. And I am crediting this oil for the progress of the lightening of my dark spots here because it was, they weren't pimples anymore. They were just red spots. But ever since I've started using rose hip oil, it's gone down so significantly. I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm quite happy. Then I have the Peptide Energy. I can't say what it is, but it's, I'm going to try. Acetyl Hexapeptide 8. The only downside about this is that the serum is so thick that sometimes it gets stuck in the nozzle, but this product is amazing. Then just my trusty CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This has lasted me so long. I use it morning and night and I bought it, I want to say I bought it almost a year ago. And then just my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. That's cute. And that's my skincare routine. So I've said to you guys before that hot chocolates have literally cured my nightmares. But the past few nights, it's not working. I have not been sleeping very well. I've probably had about eight hours of sleep in the past three nights. And those hours of sleep that I've had, I've woken up with nightmares. So I'm going to pray that I have a really good night's sleep tonight. I'm getting up at five in the morning because I've got the gym in the morning very early and then a very busy day after that. So I really need this sleep to work. I'm almost out of hot chocolate, that's so sad. Oh. There's only just enough chocolate for one. And we went to the supermarket today, that's so annoying. Good night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I didn't sleep last night. I got like two hours sleep when I went to bed and then about an hour sleep at about 6 to 7 a.m. this morning. And now I am going to St. Kilda because Maddie's doing a photo shoot for her brand. And so we're going to film some behind the scenes and then I'm going to go see my mum. So I'm just grabbing a Macca's coffee now and then I've got a bit of a drive ahead of me because the traffic is terrible. So I'm going to put on a true crime podcast. I'm going to zen, enjoy my coffee and just try and slay the day. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God, guys. All right, so... I'm literally running so late to this fucking photo shoot. I've been 10 minutes away for so long, my camera's now drenched. There he is, the biggest cockroach inside of my car. Ah, it's coming toward me, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, I've got places to be. I tried to get it with a maggots bag and I dropped it. Seriously, like my hair is not fucking cooperating. Alright, we're going small bits. We're gonna do a touch this. Small bits. Also, it's tighter, smoother, faster. It's too rigid. You're gonna have kinks in the I don't really do this. No, no. Do so. 
Smoother. Super relaxing. Better. Better. It helps a bit, but it's better. I reckon I'll fix that. Yeah, yeah. Let me do a couple of them again and I'll do that. I got this. Welcome back to my job. I was trying to do an aesthetic video of you putting shoes on. Oh, you're a bitch. <laughs> Twister! <laughs> yeah, you're going on the bench. Oh my god, wait, stay like that for a second and I'll put your arms up. Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm sorry I didn't really vlog very much yesterday. I was so out of it because I have not been sleeping and yesterday I was the most tired I reckon I've been in my entire life. Um, but to my surprise, I wasn't. I am today. I didn't sleep again last night. So I haven't really slept since Thursday last week and it's Wednesday. So I... Am dead. I feel like I'm gonna die. I need someone to sedate me. And I have been sedating myself. I've been taking Valiums. Not working. Melatonin, valerian, magnesium, everything. Nothing's working. I'm so stressed. And now I'm more stressed because I'm so tired. But the day must be slayed, so. Let's go. I've got to go to the shopping centre and pick up some stuff for the goodie bags for the Limitless Culture event on Sunday. And it is only Wednesday, so there is so much opportunity for the week to go up from here. We are going to absolutely kill it. I shouldn't be allowed to drive right now. Also, I didn't find that cockroach from yesterday, so I'm quite panicked about that also. I got everything I needed from the shop, so that's one task ticked off today. And now I'm going to go get my hair done because it is tragic. Oh my god, now I can't get my cap back on. That's my worst nightmare. So I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully I take a little nap at the basin too because it always puts me to sleep. Alright guys, I'm back from the hairdressers. The curls literally dropped so fast because of the rain outside today, which is really annoying. But, you know, I can, I can fix that myself. I've got my Davy Greens because I didn't drink them this morning. And now I'm going to clean the bathroom and probably some other rooms too, but the bathroom is my priority because I need to film content here tonight and it's literally like a bomb has hit it. So let's do that. <laughs> of the washing machine but I've just opened the content that I'm filming for today I'm really excited it's from e Kindle and it is just so stunning this packaging I cannot wait to film this content so basically oh my goodness wow we've got this Japanese honeysuckle reed diffuser and my friend Maddie is literally obsessed with the scent Japanese honeysuckle. So when I saw that as a select, I was like, absolutely. We also have this like loofah, loafer. 
I've got this Lotus Flower Luxury Bath Soak. And then in here, there is this stunning dry brush, which I'm very excited about. So basically my plan for tonight is, I'm just making sure there's nothing else in there. I'm pretty sure there's not, but that's a fear of mine. My plan for tonight is to soak and scrub off my tan. So that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have a bath because I haven't been sleeping and I'm gonna set it all up and have like entering my wellness girly era as like the caption on the video. I'm very excited. Ming Murphy, can you say I love you? Say I love you. Good boy. Good morning, everyone. I didn't end up vlogging much after I spoke to you when I was cleaning last night because as I was cleaning, I literally was like, I'm going to die. Like, I just had this panic almost of, that I was going to die because I was so tired. And so I ended up speaking to the doctor and they gave me some medication i've never heard of the medication they'd given me before but it's like a basically a sedative and i took it after dinner i remember sitting on the couch to watch a horror movie which was stupid like why watch a horror movie when you've literally not been able to sleep but anyway i don't remember going to bed my contacts were out my teeth were brushed my pajamas were not put on. I'm still wearing my tracksuit from yesterday. My silk bonnet was put on. So clearly I had some mind about me. But I literally was out to like a light. And it's currently 9.20. I've probably been awake for about an hour now. But I have felt really dozed, drowsy when I... I'm still a bit out of it. Felt really drowsy when I woke up. So yeah, I'm feeling very happy that I've slept. This is one of the best I've felt in a while. Jack's just called me and asked me to go bring him a coffee at work. He's just working up the road, so that works for me because I am drinking this coffee that he made me at 6am and has been microwaved multiple times. So I'll go do that in a minute and then I've got a full day of just sitting in front of my computer working and I need to make it a priority to go to the gym today because... I haven't gone the last few days because I've been so tired, but I'm feeling much better. Much better. Also, my silk bonnet needs some serious replacing because this is fresh out of the wash and the tan has just completely um, ruined it because usually it'll slide around like this. So it's actually my neck tan that mostly ruins the bonnet. But anyway... Slay. I've got the papos in the car with me. I really need another coffee because that one this morning was really bad. Sorry, Jack, but I am going to go and take Jack a coffee to his work because he's working not far away. So we're going to go on a little road trip. Um, and I'm just having a shit morning. Like, I'm just, oh, I'm so tired. I'm so, like, not even like mentally tired now. I'm just like, oh, I'm so, like, I don't want to do social media anymore. This sucks. Like, there are so many people out there that are so much better than me. I'm like, I hate taking content now because I hate the way I look. Like, I want my Botox done. I hate my hair. I'm just like, nothing special. And my whole life, like, you know, I've always just had, like, I've always wanted to be, like, on stage or a singer. Like, all my ambitions have always been, like, that I want to be someone. And, like, I'm just not... I need to, like, go get, like, my fortune read or something because I just need a little bit of guidance as to what the fuck I'm doing. Like, why the things that I enjoy and want to do, like, no one wants me to do. We'll be fine. I just need a coffee. And Jack. What was that? Are we trying to say something? Ah, uh, sit down. I just got the coffees, just dropped Jack off his, and now I'm gonna go home and sit in front of the computer and do a lot of work and try and get out of this shitty mental state that I'm in. Hey again, hi guys. I didn't really vlog much today. It's currently 7.30 Thursday. I've taken my sleeping tablet. I am about ready to go to bed soon and we're gonna watch a true crime doco about one of my favorite cold cases that's just released on Netflix. So I'll let you know how that goes. I 
didn't really have a very good day. She thought this morning I was very emotional. And so Jack ended up leaving work at about 11 and spending the day with me. He took me out for lunch. We went to the RSPCA to have a look at the puppies up for adoption. Not that we need one, but we went and looked anyway. And then we came home and went for a massive walk, which was really good. It was very hard, but it was really good. It was more like a hike, to be honest. And then, yeah, since then we've been at home. And then Jack just left before. He was like, I'm going to go get you a present. It's not a big present, but I'm going to go get it for you. And I was like, okay. And then he ended up taking a while. And the present that he got me is this mouse pad. He went to Officeworks to give me a cute little mouse pad, which is good because I needed one. But then he ended up also buying me another present, which was really extreme. I'll show you. A second monitor for my setup. And this is one of, well, the dog we fell in love with today, but we didn't get but he ended up getting me another monitor, which is so adorable. And I think it means all the more because I was, you know, obviously really sad about work and stuff today. And he does that and shows his support for me to keep trying, supporting me in my work. So it really means a lot. He's a very thoughtful guy. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and let's hope for a better day tomorrow. I am not sure exactly what the plan is tomorrow, which is kind of stressing me out. I really like to know what I'm doing in advance, but we'll see what happens. I've got an exciting weekend ahead regardless, so we'll just push through and look forward to all the good stuff. Good morning. Oh my god, it's raining. I didn't know that. Okay, hold on. I'm shivering with timbers. Oh my god, open my car. We'll try that again. Hi guys, happy Friday. I am feeling a lot better than yesterday, but still not great. I had a productive morning, just like productive around the house had some content to film which I've been putting off because I hate the way I look but I did that which was good and now I'm going to go to the gym and I still have no idea what my plan is for today and it's today. Okay I thought I was doing better but now I've pulled up to the gym and the idea of there being mirrors everywhere is freaking me out so I really don't want to go inside. I better go in but I really don't want to. I just got home from my workout and on my drive home I literally picked off all my nails. I'm so disgusting. And I was about to drink this up and go but I've dropped my straw down the side of the car seat so I'm going to go inside and get another one. The urge that I have right now to just stop filming this weekly vlog and start with a weekend vlog is real but I'm going to push through. I'm just so insecure this week about everything and I haven't been posting on my any social medias because I've been so insecure and then I finally felt like I was like back in my swing of things and now I'm not and I feel like crap but it's two o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday I'm in my dressing gown because it's freezing in Melbourne and I just wasn't vibing the way I looked so I just chucked on my trusty dressing gown made myself a coffee and I'm gonna make myself a snack so I thought we could do that together I just have this Wicked Sisters protein pudding and I'm gonna make some strawberries make strawberries um prepare some strawberries to go with it oh they don't look too great <clears throat> i'm just so sad because my mental health is so bad and it's been so good and then all of a sudden it's so bad again and i'm trying so hard to remember that everything's gonna be okay and this is just you know a moment in time but when you've recently you just had like a massive mental health meltdown and you're recovering from that and then you've got another one brewing it's hard to remind yourself that this isn't the norm and that everything else is because i'm feeling like you know that stint of happiness that i had was probably not the reality even though it's vice versa but it's hard to tell yourself that it's like my whole life I have been the kid that was the odd one out at school, who had no friends, who everyone picked on because of the way they looked, who had weird interests. And honestly, I'm still just waiting for the time to come where I'm not that person, where I'm not the weird kid, where I'm not getting teased because of my looks. And I'm 26 and that time has not yet come. If I could go back in time and tell my 16 year old self we're still dealing with this shit, she would not be happy. Here's my little snack. Coffee, strawberries and pudding. I just put on a tan and I'm currently using the Loving Tan and I have to say I'm not actually a huge fan for the price point. It's just not good enough really. 
I'm wearing a platinum and it could be darker and I'm so pale. They were sold out of the dark, which is why I got the platinum, but I am so conscious of other brands not getting too dark because it looks ridiculous on me. This is the platinum and it's like just not that dark. I only use one tan, like I only use one layer, but I only use one layer of other tans too. So that's not really a difference. And also it does last and doesn't go patchy, but it's like impossible to get off when I'm doing like my scrub for my reapplication. It just won't come out. Like I have marks on my skin from like two weeks ago that I've scrubbed raw and they're still just not budging. So color's nice and like it lasts very well, but for the price, it's just not good enough. <laughs> Oh. Guess who I'm with? Hi guys. How are you? Good, really good. Beautiful. Beautiful day, beautiful coffee. Great. <laughs> Yum, look at that! Mum and I are just doing some shopping. Trying to find a bargain. Mum is the best bargain hunter. That's where I get it from. Anything here? No. I think we move on to the next one. Alright, let's bounce. Let's go. Slight. <laughs> so we're at Big W and Mum's returning a little tiny travel shaving cream. Because she found it cheaper elsewhere, but she's literally returning it. Let's go. <laughs> she's slaying. I see the vision. <laughs> Dad just got home from Melbourne. Cross paths, and now we're going to dinner. Aren't we, mother? Yeah. I really like this look. Like, I've never gotten sick of it. Nah, nah. Hate it? Don't hate it, it's just boring for a car ride. We've got like All five right. minutes. So, well, give me what's your best pump I don't, up going to do this I don't, It doesn't actually pump up, it's just let this love is like. Yeah. Anyway, give us another one. Too slow. Alright. God, we want to thank you for the opportunity to come to get all the people from the show and the birthday that's coming out. And we just thank you that life, that life we breathe is because of you. Thank you for your food in this night. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.